Okay, a common question that a lot of people have is what is supply chain management? Let me tell you all about it. Hi, this is Robbo Byrne from Supply Chain Secrets. And a lot of people who are thinking of getting into supply chain or maybe thinking of studying supply chain kind of wonder what it is. So there'll be some more detailed videos on the channel here, but I thought I'd introduce you with some very simple concepts into what supply chain management is all about. Now, uh, as you may know, I live in Sydney, Australia, and we've got some pretty fantastic globally recognized icons around, and here is one of them. the Sydney Opera House. Now, why am I showing you the Sydney Opera House when we're talking about supply chain? Well, you'll often hear a definition of supply chain that's pretty good. It's all about getting the right product in the right place at the right time. It's a very simple definition of supply chain. I'd kind of add in there at the right quality and the right cost as well. But supply chain is all around us, and that's what makes it such a fascinating topic. So just think about the Sydney Opera House for a moment. Sure, it's an iconic performing arts centre, but there's about seven or eight um, restaurant outlets as well and cafes. Think for a moment about how all the products actually get in front of the customers on the tables, all of the resupply, who does the ordering for all of the food and beverages, where do they stock it all? Down behind me here are a whole bunch of restaurants and cafes, you know, a whole range from fine dining down to sort of family restaurants. Now just think about those for a minute. And, and this is, you know, the fascinating element that I find around uh, about supply chain because it's happening all around you. Think about how all the food gets to these restaurant outlets. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of restaurants here, food and beverage, huge quantities. I think something like a couple of million people, you know, eat here every year. But who orders all of the food? Who ensures that it gets here on time? Who ensures that it's fresh, that we've got enough for, you know, this, this busy weekend, it's Australia Day weekend? That's supply chain management. So it's going on all around us. Okay, so here's another example of supply chain management in action. So look at the Sydney skyline behind me. Oh, you can see we've just had a, an Australia Day concert on. It's the day after Australia Day. And look at all these huge buildings up there. They, I mean, they're going up to 50, 70 levels. What do all those buildings have? Think about it. Lifts, elevators. That's another element where supply chain management is critical. Think about installing new elevators there. Who do you think orders all of the different components to install an elevator? Who do you think orders and manages all of the spare parts to keep them running? Everybody's got elevators. We've got all these uh, huge buildings up here. We've got shopping centers. Elevators break down, escalators break down. Someone's got to manage all of those spare parts to make sure that that equipment is fixed as quickly as possible. And that is supply chain management. Okay, so here's another really cool example of supply chain management in action. So here in Sydney, uh, we're very lucky that these big cruise ships can come right into the middle of the city. And this one is a P&O ship. Yeah, P&O ship, I can't see the name of it. Uh, but they're in here every day. Now, think about this for a moment. This ship could have something like 2,000 passengers on it, and they might be on there for a week, for two weeks. They're gonna go through an awful lot of food and beverages. Now, the really interesting thing about cruise ships is that you can't kind of get deliveries of food and beverage when you're out in the ocean. You have to take it all with you. So imagine that you've got to plan the menus for two weeks for all of these 2,000 passengers, uh, you've then got to order all of that product. You've got to make sure it's all loaded onto the ship in the right place, in the right temperature compartments and so on. And you know the really tricky thing is that that ship is only in port for a few hours. Now I don't know whether you can see it on the video, but there's some small loading doors uh, on the sides. And everything has to go into those loading doors, 
just in a period of a few hours. You've got to take off all the waste, you've got to put on all the new food and beverage, you've got to get the uh, departing passengers off and all their luggage, you've got to get the new passengers on and all their luggage. And that is a mammoth supply chain task. So again, supply chain management logistics is happening all around us. It is such a fascinating field to work in. Okay, so one final example of applied supply chain management before we leave this beautiful part of Sydney. Now, I'm not sure whether you can see up on the bridge there, on Sydney Harbour Bridge, um, but as I'm talking, you might see some buses going over the bridge. There are train lines going over the bridge. Again, a huge supply chain management operation going on there, managing all of the spare parts to keep that critical infrastructure going keeping people coming in and out of the city. And not just the maintenance, of course, it's actually building them. Uh, I mean, there's a big company just up in North Sydney here uh, that actually makes locomotives. So, you know, again, supply chain management in action there. Fascinating field. We'll get into lots more detail uh, on the channel here about supply chain management, but I just thought I'd kind of help you with a couple of real life examples, understand what supply chain management really is and what it's all about. Don't forget, before you go, hit the subscribe button, then you'll get notified about lots of other videos that are coming up, sharing some great tips, tips that I actually uh, uh, utilize with my consulting clients all over the world. So thank you for spending time with us. Do comment below if there's any particular topics you wanna hear. Before you go, hit the subscribe button. See you soon.